So this is the second video in a series on lectins. Um, <clears throat> mostly we're just going to cover biochemistry and some of the uh, maybe geeky purpose kind of things to give you a little bit broader perspective and connect some dots. Lectins are for the most part uh, proteoglycans. What does that mean? Proteo meaning protein, glycan <clears throat> meaning uh, excuse me, sugar or carbs. Uh, you can, some people would argue, no, they're proteins that just have an affinity for carbs. That starts to get a little bit esoteric. Not going to go there. They're involved with plant signaling and animal signaling. Um, they're used in a lot of laboratory uh, purposes and for other purposes as well. Uh, CLEC 11A, for example, is important for bone growth. Um, another type of lectin is also used in labs for blood typing. So a lot of very positive purposes. Some bad purposes. You may have heard of ricin. Ricin is a lectin made from the, uh, or, uh, isolated from the castor bean. Um, and again, as you know, ricin is not a, a, not a good thing. Now you get into some arguments about other uh, lectins. For example, the, uh, the legume-associated lectins, the role of those is unknown, and this is the legume-associated uh, lectin here, the blue and the red. The, um, the purple and gold, by the way, is ricin. This legume-associated uh, uh, lectin, the purpose is unknown, uh, but again, there are several things we do know about it, and that is it tends to release the tight junctions uh, which hold the, um, the lining of the intestinal wall together. Um, <clears throat> that happens more for people with a genetic uh, variation that's not uncommon at all. It's called haptoglobin 2-2. So here, there's a ton of debate about uh, lectins. Uh, Dr. Stephen Gundry really brought this to the forefront with his book, The Plant Paradox, and there's evidently a diet behind it. I've seen a few of his videos, um, not totally uh, there in terms of the significance of it. I mean, one of the big, here's the two major sides of the debate. Um, people say lectins are bad for you, uh, like, uh, well, some people would. Even, Gundry is supposed to say that, but he will say, Look, you just need to uh, make sure that you cook sufficiently the lectins in beans and other plants. Um, Joel Kahn, who's, the, who's a cardiologist, appeared on an um, episode of The Doctors uh, with, uh, with um, Gundry and said, No, you're terrible. You're, you've, uh, you'd, you've lost the public trust. So Gundry says, avoid or cook lect lectins. Kahn says, oh, no, that's, you're avoiding the, I mean, you're uh, breaking the public trust. Stork agreed with uh, Kahn. E evidently, Stork's not uh, aware of a lot of the uh, biochemistry behind it. But again, there's been a lot of major debate around this issue. So I'm trying to not take so many sides on the debate, but provide a little bit more maybe light than heat. Uh, I'll provide some other information on lectins uh, later. Thank you very much. Fifteen years ago, Time Magazine had a cover article saying that inflammation causes heart attacks, cancer, and Alzheimer's. Wouldn't it be nice if, the, if most docs understood how to do that inflammation testing? Well, uh, we have a course on it. It's, uh, it takes you less than two hours and 30 bucks. Uh, in fact, maybe you want to buy one for your doc.